Greetings. Now I want to talk to you guys about cordless drills or screw guns and impact drivers. We're going to go over what they do, how to tell them apart, why you would choose one over the other, their various accessories of which there's many, and how to safely operate one. Let's drive in. Before we get started, let's go over some of the basics. A battery powered drill uses bits to bore holes in whatever surface you're working on, mainly wood, and drivers install threaded fasteners, AKA screws. Cordless power tools are available in all kinds and all sizes. They're widely used due to their convenience, strength, and durability. They also replace the need for extension cords. So I wanna review the different parts of both the cordless drill and the driver. A cordless drill has a chuck and a speed range switch. There's the forward and reverse function. There's a torque selection clutch. There's the trigger switch, the battery, and the LED work light. This one also has an option for a hammer drill. Not every single cordless drill is gonna have that option, but you can get a cordless hammer drill. Let's take a look at the most useful accessories for both drills and drivers. A bit, as mentioned, is used to, to bore a hole into wood. So that is how you would pre-drill before you took a driver and a screw and screwed it into that pre-drilled hole. There are twist bits, speed bores, Forstner bits, expansive bits, countersink bits, there's combination drills, there's hole saws, there's paddle bits. As if you can imagine it, there's probably a bit or a driver for it. Now let's go over the differences between the most common types, the cordless drill versus the impact driver. The cordless drill can also be used as a driver. It has more features, it's more precise, and it has multiple settings to accommodate different kinds of bits. If I needed to pre-drill, I would choose my cordless, cordless drill. Um, if I needed to make sure that a screw stopped before being overdriven, I would choose a cordless drill. An impact driver has more torque. It has just one setting and a lot more speed, so there's a lot more power and it's easy to overdrive. So consider the application before you choose the appropriate tool. One other difference that I wanna review with you about the difference between your cordless drill and an impact driver is the fact that this chuck allows to be tightened around a smooth shank drill bit, whereas the impact driver does not. With an impact driver, you have to have a quarter inch quick connect, which requires this sort of adapter. You pull the sleeve on the collar out like so, and drop your bit in, allowing you to drill with an impact driver or use a driver. Now, with the cordless drill, not only can you use the smooth shank bit, but you can also attach that quick connect the same way. Finally, there's some safety guidelines that you all should be familiar with. Personal protective equipment, or PPE. We always recommend covering up your eyes before using a cordless drill or an impact driver. I would also consider earplugs depending on the decibel rating and where you're working. Avoid any loose clothing and avoid using gloves if you're working around the, the bits or the drivers of the tool. All right, gang, I'm going to attempt to do a couple of demonstrations with our cordless drill and our impact driver. There's a lot of different equipment and applications, so I chose a few here to show you guys to try to, um, you know, just give you a couple of examples of the wide variety of uses for these two tools. So we're gonna start with our cordless drill. Um, remember, the cordless drill comes with a chuck. This is a keyless chuck. Drills years ago used to come with a separate key so you could loosen and tighten this. They're almost all, all the cordless ones that I know of are all handheld now. And again, this chuck will accept a smooth shank bit, which you can tighten and you'll hear it when it cranks down, it gives it a couple clicks. There's variable speeds. So number one, I can use to screw 
Number two, I can use to drill. Um, and then there's a couple of different settings here where I can go with a hammer drill function or the screw or the drill. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to uh, pre-drill a hole. Remember, safety first. And you wanna make sure that the, the material that you're drilling into is secured. The best way to do it was with, with clamps. Uh, I'm not gonna clamp this, I'm gonna hold it with my uh, other hand. I'm gonna make sure it's clear of the bit. You're gonna pick out your drill point, get it started. And that's it, pretty, pretty straightforward. That is how you drill a hole into a piece of wood. Now, I can do the same thing. I can accomplish that same thing using my impact driver, but again, with the quarter inch quick connect. So, this little collar here slides in and out. You have to slide it out in order to put your bit in. Well, and I screwed it up. There you go. Make sure that that guy is secure. Hold your material down. You can hear how much faster the impact driver is spinning as opposed to the cordless drill on the first speed setting. Now, the other thing I can do, what's nice about these quick connect bits is I can change that out for a driver. This is a number two Phillips driver. Guys, there's a ton of different uh, sizes of drill bits. And as you can see here in the case, there's a, there's a tons of different drivers as well. You got your slotted, you got your Phillips, you got your Torx, and they all have slang names as well. So slotted could be flathead, Torx could be called a star bit. Um, so just remember, a lot of different nomenclature surrounding this, and depending on you know regions or who you were mentored by, uh, but we're gonna try to use standard language um, throughout. So the next thing we're gonna do is take our number two Phillips screw with our number two Phillips driver, and then secure your building material, and you can see there, it goes pretty quick with this impact driver. Um, the next thing I wanna show you guys is that you don't have to always pre-drill a hole to get a screw started. So now I'm gonna switch out. This is a T25 bit, so that's for your Torx driver. Again, just to show you the difference between the screw heads there. There's your number two Phillips. There's your Torx or star bit. Again, with no uh, pre-drilled hole, and get that guy started. The last thing I wanna show you is, um, it's not just wood, you know, wood is one building material, but there's a lot of different ones. So something that you may encounter, especially in uh, older homes or southern states, you got block. So block, masonry, brick, concrete, cement, whatever you wanna call it, requires a specialty bit, it's called a masonry bit. And again, that is a smooth shank. So you gotta make sure that your, dry, your cordless drill is set to the right. And then on this one, I wanna make sure that I'm not on the screw setting, but I'm on the hammer drill setting right there. The hammer drill is not just gonna rotate the chuck around, but it's also going to tap as if it's being hammered so that I can get into this block here. So, and this is gonna be loud. And then, changing that out for my Torx bit again. Make sure that the, it's still on hammer. And that is how you attach uh, fasteners into masonry. So again, lots of different applications, lots of different uh, building materials, lots of different equipment. Get to know all of it because you never know with uh, American architectural styles and residences, uh, all shapes and sizes, all different building materials, get to know everything. You guys are gonna have a lot of success out there. So now you should have a basic understanding of the difference between your cordless drill and your impact driver. To recap, the drill is more precise. 
It also accepts smooth shank bits. The impact drivers are more powerful, only have that one speed. Always take safety precautions before using any driller driver. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you guys in the next video.